Hi guys, it's Megan Graham and today I'm here to talk to you about Yorkies and cats. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about introducing a kitten to a dog. For those of you that have not seen my channel before, welcome. So I am the proud owner of three beautiful Yorkshire Terriers. This is Alfie, my male Yorkie and a Siberian kitten who's actually a giant kitten at this point. His name is Simba and he is nine pounds and six months old. So one question that I have gotten again and again is how I successfully introduced my kitten to my dogs and I wanted to go a little bit more in depth here today because there were not a lot of videos when I was searching for how to introduce my kitten to my Yorkshire Terriers. So I did a lot of reading before I brought my kitten home. I wanted to be as prepared as I could possibly be, and I just wanted to make sure that the entire thing was going to be successful. One thing that I do want to point out is that sometimes you actually don't know what's going to happen until the situation unfolds. So when you do bring a new kitten home and you already have dogs, it is really imperative that you are constantly supervising and constantly watching. Cats are very delicate creatures and a dog could absolutely harm a cat. It has happened before. So please always make sure to supervise, always make sure to be careful and really keep that kitten safe because you are the only one that can really protect it. So I did a ton of research and one of the most important things that I did was to actually have a safe place for the kitten when he came home. I have three Yorkshire Terriers and they all like to bark a lot. They can go a little bit crazy and I think that could be really overwhelming for the kitten. So I chose the second bedroom as his safe place and I put a beautiful bed in there, a litter box, some toys, and I made sure that it would be completely safe so that he could go in there. And even though I knew that there would be barking dogs outside the door, I wanted to make sure that he could feel as safe as he could be because I went to pick him up and obviously he had grown up with his mama cat and his brothers and sisters and this was his first experience being in a new home. When I first brought him into the house, he was in a carrier and I was hopeful that maybe my dogs would be friendly when they saw him, but even when I showed the dogs the cat inside the carrier, they went absolutely crazy. So I brought him into his little bedroom, I set him up and he was really frightened. I think the first night Night. For most of the night, he actually hid underneath the bed, and I just let him do that. Um, I spent a lot of time with the dogs. They were very curious. They were sniffing the outside of the room, and they very much wanted to see him, but I just let him settle in in that room, and I actually had a friend that spent some time with him so he wasn't completely alone in the room. Had I gone into the room, my dogs would have been outside going crazy the entire time, so unfortunately, I was not able to spend a lot of time with with the kitten the first day, even though I so very much wanted to. Prepare your dogs for their first meeting with the kitten. Now the way that I prepared my dogs was to actually take them on a very long walk so they were completely exhausted. This did not mean that they would not go crazy but they had less energy to do so. So you want to prime your dogs and get them into the best state of mind they could possibly be in. So whether it's doing obedience exercises, connecting with your dogs, giving them a massage, something that puts your dogs into a great state of mind is important to do before they meet the kitten. I personally think that tiring them out is a really important thing. So the first time that my dogs met the kitten, I actually brought the kitten out to the living room and I have a cat tree where he's completely protected. So I put him into the cat tree and I basically let the, the dogs just see him in the tree where they could not reach him. I also made sure that he was not going to jump down out of the cat tree because were he to jump down, the dogs would have chased him and it would have been a really frightening experience for the cat. Another thing that some people do when they are going to first introduce their animals might be to use a baby gate or something that would keep the dog and the cat completely separate so they can sniff each other and look at each other, but it is still very safe. So keeping separation during the first meeting is very important. 
This is not a process that happens quickly. The first week where I had my kitten Simba and my three dogs, I was honestly very tired and very stressed because I had to be constantly present. I took several days off from work and when I actually did have to go back to work, I made sure to have somebody that could be at my house to make sure that everybody was safe and everybody was getting along. I wish that I could say that this was a really easy and quick process, but what I do have to say is that this transition is most likely going to take some time and you have to give it the time that is needed if you want it to be successful. Because if your dogs start chasing your cat or if they try to attack your cat, I really don't think that that's something that you're going to come back from and it might make it impossible to ever have your dog and your cat have a good relationship. So for the first week, every time I went to work, I had my assistant come over as soon as I was going to work and she stayed with the animals. So what we eventually did was we would just leave a little bit more time each day where the animals could be together. At first, if she had to be gone, she would actually put the kitten into the bedroom. But what I finally started to do is once they started to be integrated and I could tell that they were getting along well, the dogs did not want to harm the cat and everybody was okay, I would leave them alone for just a few minutes. So the first time I left them alone, I think all I did was actually go outside the door and make sure that things were peaceful. I was gone for about two minutes. Eventually, I built up to more time, but I did not just leave all of the animals together for eight hours and go to work. Um, I will say that I have actually had all of the animals together, I've owned all four of them, for a total of three months, and although everybody is getting along really well, they are still not the best of friends. So Alfie, my male dog, and Simba, my male cat, still have a little bit of animosity because Simba is constantly play attacking Alfie and he really doesn't like it. So no one is really trying to hurt the other, but they haven't become the very best of friends. And I would say that that process could even take six months. I really hope that this video was helpful to you. If there are any other details that you would like to hear, I would be more than happy to share them with you. I know that a lot of people gave me different advice. Some people told me to buy a diffuser to make the cat more relaxed. Um, but to be honest, my cat has always been very relaxed. It was really just taking the time to make sure that the introduction was successful, slow, and supervised with every single minute. I have heard so many stories of dogs injuring cats, and so it's really important to watch your dog with a cat. If you've never had a cat before, as much as you might love your dog and you think you have a wonderful dog, it's really important to make sure that your cat is safe and healthy. I'm actually going to show you guys Simba the cat as well. Simbi, come here Sim. So this is Simba the Siberian, and he is the most likable, gentle, affable cat. He's super, super sweet, and hello, buddy, you are sweet. Um, in the very beginning, it was so funny because Lola, my eight-year-old Yorkie that has no teeth, was um, she would lunge at him every once in a while and boss him around and tell him what to do. And this sweet little guy never got mad at her. He does try to hit all of the dogs on the bottom as they walk by and he occasionally play attacks them, but it's all in good fun. So I hope you guys have a great time integrating your new kitten with your dogs. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask them below. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel and stay healthy and stay beautiful. Talk to you guys soon.